Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Lincoln Creek, Nebraska. And I've been getting the corn dryer all set up here. I think we've got it ready to go. So uh, this corn dryer is a global company uh, mod. We've got everything uh, set up here with our augers and such. We don't have a lot of cash left, so I bought a little bit of propane. I'm not sure how fast this is gonna go. We're probably gonna need to bring a whole bunch more in here, but for today, this should suffice while we get everything going. We've got the grain truck uh, all set up here to take the dry corn out of the dryer here and run it around to the bins on the other side. And we're going to just park our semi right here, I think, at the auger. This is going to let us uh, bring the grain cart over here and dump into it and then get this going up the auger. I thought this would be the easiest setup for us. And then we've got our other tractor over here on the big auger lined up here. But we're going to need to move this guy over. Um, this was where we stored our sunflowers here. So we need to get this auger moved over to the next bin to store our corn. So let's go ahead and get that going here. We should be able to just fold this up pretty easy. And I'm hoping we can uh, bring this up here and then just back it right in. First try, no issues, but uh, well, you know, augers in my backup skills aren't always the uh, easiest thing. But I think with this uh, setup, we'll get it in here. Now, one thing that I remembered here is we've actually got a camera here that we can switch to so if i press c twice i get into our auger cam which is really cool um i love when modders do stuff like this so we can see we're lined up about as well as you could expect an auger to be lined up here so that is awesome we're gonna go ahead and put our uh hopper out here so that we can back the truck up to it when we need to and if we just bring up our HUD here, I'm trying to figure out, I don't want to control the pipe, so I need to push G to switch to our hopper control unit. And I can adjust the height a little bit. We can adjust the tip here so that it's just set up how you'd like it. Um, I'm digging that, so we're going to go with that. Our pipe is out. Everything should be good to go now. But we won't need that till we've got some dry corn. I just wanted to get everything all set up here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab our grain cart. In fact, I think I left it running. And so we'll grab the grain cart and bring it over here to the edge of the field just so that uh, I can turn this tractor off because it's going to be a few minutes here before we need the grain cart. I don't want it to be in the way, but I also just don't want it running because we've got uh, the increased fuel consumption mod turned on for this save and it has a tendency to eat through that fuel rather quickly. So I think for this cornfield, this is a very small field uh, and it's gonna go pretty quick. I just wanna get everything knocked out here up at the farm, make sure that we've got the dryer running and that we're not gonna run into any issues there for the year. And so that's why I wanted to grab this corn here first. I think after we're done with this cornfield, we're actually gonna end up switching over to beans and trying to knock our beans out here because I believe our beans are ready. So we'll see how today goes. If we hop into the HUD here, bring up our map, it looks like we're getting kind of average, I'll say, uh, yields here from a farm sim perspective, probably a little low. We're getting 192 bushels an acre right now. So let's pop open the precision farming map here and we can see all of this field is salty clay. So we kind of expected that that would be a bit low. We're not in the best shape for pH. We didn't lime any of our fields coming into this, but we did get our nitrogen applied appropriately. And so that between the soil type and the pH level kind of attributes for our slightly less than average corn here. Uh, normally I would expect to see over 200 bushels an acre, especially with uh, farm sim mechanics. If we got into some better soil quality, uh, I think that we'd see some better results. I think that this soil is going to cause, um, if I'm not mistaken, a 10% uh, yield hit compared to uh, the other soil types. I can't recall what the numbers are now off the top of my head in precision farming. But when we go over here to field 68, 
we're going to have a lot more of the loam soil types throughout the field. And so I expect that we're going to be in a much better spot over there from a yield perspective. Uh, either way, though, I mean, we're getting good amounts of corn here. And this is going to be a great test for this corn dryer. We're already pushing over 200 bushels, so we'll be able to, you know, probably fill up the grain cart here uh, over the course of this field. But I'm not going to wait for that. We're going to go ahead and get our headlands off here so that I can start off uh, probably a worker just to go back and forth on this field while we're doing some things. But I want to get a load in the dryer here really quick like just to make sure that we can start playing around with that and seeing if we're going to run into any problems. Now I'm going to take two passes off of this end of the headland because I don't want to be turning around on the road. And then we've got plenty of grass area up on the other side of the field here that we're going to be able to turn around on. So I'm not as worried on that end of the field. We did miss a row here though, so I'm going to have to pick that up. And we really don't need two combines going in this field, but we'll probably uh, grab the other one here and start from the other end of the field just to make sure we can knock this out pretty quickly. So I'm going to start this guy off with a worker here, and that's going to let me jump up here into the grain cart real quick and try and run down here and get the combine unloaded. Now, I have to say, I love we've got the destructible crop textures here. So when you drive over the cornfield, uh, all the stalks are getting knocked down. I love when uh, maps have that. It's one of my favorites. I just wish that workers would knock stuff down, too. Uh, maybe there is a mod for having workers do crop destruction. Uh, it'd probably be a bad idea with how they turn around, but I'd really like to see the corn stalks get knocked down while the workers are driving. I'll take what I can get. At least we've got the tracks while we're driving over it with the grain cart or when we're driving the combine manually here. Now we'll get about one full hopper here by the time we get to the end row. I'm expecting, you know, somewhere around uh, 400 bushels off of this first opening up of the field. And so we're going to just sit here, let him finish uh, emptying out here. 404, look at that. And we're going to run this right on over to the semi here get this dumped in and see how that's going to work. I'm quite curious. So here's a thing I didn't really think about when I set this all up is that the auger tractor is kind of in the way here uh, as far as me pulling through and lining up real easy. So we'll have to take a look at that. Now I'm going to just hop out of this tractor for a second and let's see here. We're going to hop into the farm all get it up and running i think i've got the auger set up with its pipe out now so we'll go ahead and jump into the semi here i'm going to turn my hud on for a moment here while we play around with this and get it working and i should be able to back right up into here we're going to leverage the grain door get that dumped right into this auger it does unload uh, at a decent clip here. And we're unloading into the top of the grain dryer. It looks like I'm not 100% lined up there, but we're pretty close. And so I guess I don't really need this semi to go anywhere. And we've got corn in the dryer. I'm going to bring up the global company menu here to take a look at the corn dryer. You can see we're already moving liters of corn over slightly. As we go, we're using up our propane. So this should uh, continue to dry our corn here for a while. I'm out of curiosity. We're gonna jump into here and just see. Uh, I need to jump into the auger actually. I wanna see if I can unload this now. So R to start filling. We've got dry corn in the bin. And in, we've got dry corn in the truck. Look at that. So there you go. We can pull all the way through this system. Everything does seem to be working. I'm excited. All right, well with that, let's jump back in the grain cart here, run over to our combine, 
and see where he's at from getting full harvesting this corn. Looks like we're making great progress here while we were messing around on the grain dryer stuff. So I don't think it makes any sense for us actually to start off the second combine. I'm gonna just run down to the end of the field here and we're gonna let the combine turn around here. I'm pretty sure he's gonna make it to the end of the field. And we'll unload him on the way back up and then it looks like he's gonna be able to finish off what's left here pretty easily with the remaining hopper. I have to say I really enjoy using the vehicle speed sync mod here, especially when I'm a running grain cart. It makes life so easy being able to just hit shift four and match the speed of my combine. So I think given that we don't have that much corn left in this initial field, and this was kind of just our test, I wanted to get the dryer going make sure that we knew how that was all working. I'm probably gonna start setting up the bean headers on at least this other combine that's sitting here on the edge of the field right now while we wait for this worker to finish off this small field. He's only got a few passes left. And we'll get both combines switched over with bean heads and send them out to start harvesting in one of these soybean fields. We are going to put both combines in the same field so that we can knock it out uh, as fast as possible. Now this worker is going to run into just a little bit of problems with all this equipment sitting here in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and spin him around here just to make life easier. We got to pick up these angled rows here. It looks like we'll be fairly straight further down. I think the hired help here is going to be able to handle turning around after we take this little piece off. There we go. Hired worker away. We're going to fold this corner header up and get it set out of the way. Now we're going to be switching back to these corn headers literally as soon as we're done with the bean harvest. So I think what I'm going to do is try and just put them outside here along the shed. Um, I don't need to come up with any long-term storage for them. And this will be a nice out-of-the-way spot where I think we can get back to them pretty easily. And then our bean headers should still be right in this shed. So I'm going to just back this combine up here to the big door. We'll get it opened up and we'll road these up to the field. We've got two soybean fields that we need to harvest. One of them is field 32, which is the larger field kind of up by town. And so I think that's where I want to start things off. So we're going to grab this guy's header here and uh, I think just send him out to the field here, get things going. That way, once we finish the corn here, we're going to be able to go out and start getting course play going with this guy while we wait for the rest of our equipment to show up it kind of lets us stagger some of these things so we'll send this guy going because i think he's got everything he needs to get out there and while that happens i'm going to jump back into the grain cart here we're going to zip this guy down to the corner of the field here i think that we're going to be about done with the corn here i'm not sure if this combine's starting to get full yet or not he doesn't look too full, but we're still going to just empty him out here real quick like on the way up. And then once he's done, we'll top him off. There's actually not that much of a row here to empty on the go, but we're trying to be somewhat efficient here. We're getting a fair amount of corn off of this field. I like it. I miss corn harvest. I like harvesting corn. I like having a high yield crops. Uh, keeps you busy. A lot of, lot of things to do, a lot of running around. You never get bored during a uh, corn harvest. So let's jump in the combine here and just take over for this worker so that we don't have to uh, watch him spend so much time backing up here. We've got just uh, one single pass left here, a few more rows, and we'll jump right into the row here and see if we guessed correctly for how many rows we got out there on the left side. Looks like we did it. Nice. All right, so we've got all of the corn harvested now. We'll take this guy up here and 
empty him into the grain cart. Is my auger out? It is. I just can't see it at all. All right. So with the combine all emptied out here, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold up our corn header and we're going to put it right over here somewhere. Um, yeah, there's probably enough space right here on the other side of the rock picker. So we're going to drop that right there. And similarly, get this thing folded up, grab our header, and send it out to field 32. But before we head out there, we need some diesel. We're running low on fuel here. I didn't check the other one before we sent him out. But uh, that could be a problem. We've got diesel in our pickup. Oh, we don't have that much money either. We're going to spend a uh, small fortune here filling up our diesel. We're going to have to take that operating loan out so that we've got a little bit of cash to handle doing different things on the farm here, I think. Because we're definitely going to need some more propane soon as well in the dryer. But we'll go with uh, what we've got here. We're going to run out of money there and get... Uh, oh, not quite full. But good enough for today. We'll worry about the loan next time. I want to keep things uh, moving here. Farmyard, field 32. There you go. All right, we've got both combines heading out to their first soybean field. And while they do that, let's go ahead and get this grain cart unloaded real quick. Keep this dryer moving. I don't think the dryer's running out of uh, stuff to do yet. I think it's going to take a little bit for things to move over. You can see it's not moving that fast, which is both a good and a bad thing. So the good news is, is that because we started with a cornfield and now we're getting this cornfield at least moved through the dryer it'll have time to process while we switch over to beans but the concerning part is is at some point here as we're just harvesting lots and lots of corn we're going to get to a point where we get backed up and we might have to put some of the wet corn into a bin for a while and then keep moving it around so i don't like having to move corn around uh, by hand a lot that's one of the benefits of having a nice grain leg setup. However, uh, for our current setup, since it's a standalone dryer like this, we're going to have to probably think about that. I think we're going to end up with some wet corn sitting somewhere uh, just to get it out of the way while we wait for the dryer to do its thing. So that's something I'm keeping my eye on as we get into harvest here. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this guy sent out to field 32 as well because we're definitely going to need uh, the grain cart running around in that big field for the soybeans. And then we're going to grab the second semi here to bring out to field 32. I'm going to leave that other one sitting there for the corn since we don't have a need for it just yet. So let's get this semi sent out there as well. He can follow along behind the grain cart. So that's going to be all of our equipment heading out there for soybeans. Now I'm going to, I think we forgot to dump the corn into the dryer actually. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. Yes, indeed. 620 some bushels it looked like. Looks like we've got everything set up in a good spot. Sometimes with these rear dump trucks, they dump partially and then lose the trigger and stop dumping. So I like that. Everything's working out good. And we've got a little bit more dry corn here that we could toss into this truck just to keep things moving. I'm going to try that out uh, just out of mostly curiosity to see that that's working well, which it is. So there you go. We've dried an entirety of 75 bushels of corn so far. So I'm going to grab this grain truck now and take this over to the other bin. I just want to make sure that that setup is working now as well. Uh, when we only had like six bushels, it wasn't enough to really test anything out. 75 should be enough to see that this is working. And the nice thing about using 
the straight truck for this is it's really easy to back up and put into here. So as we're moving corn back and forth from the corn dryer to the bins here, this is just gonna go super easy. And I think I wasn't paying attention. I'm guessing that that corn went all the way up in there already. So let's walk over here. Nope, we didn't get any corn in the bin yet. It went into the auger, it looks like. Yep, I've got corn in the auger. So let's try this out. So I've come to realize I forgot to add dry corn to these bins that we're using. So right now we've got those 75 bushels sitting in the auger. Uh, we'll definitely have to patch that up here off camera. That's one of the reasons why we go through and kind of do some of these tests in the first harvest on a new map with new equipment. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, hit that like button. That's all for today. Ketterk out. Here's a thing I didn't really think about. Whoops. <clears throat> now here's a thing I didn't really think about with how I got this all set up. Is that tractor. Oh. Oh my goodness.